Hello, my friends, and welcome. I know many of you are starting your spring cleaning, so I've decided to tackle a problem during my spring cleaning, and that is dainty clutter trying to get it under control and this video is going to be by one of those areas and that is cell phones electronics you know what i'm talking about i will be doing a future video on daily clutter but for today i am going to diy a charging station and that will control my electronics problems so if you're interested in seeing how i diy my charging station keep watching So here are some materials I found around the house. You know my rules, shop the house first. I found an old box that I purchased a year or so ago from Michaels. They have them in different prices and variety of sizes. They always have these in the store. Some craft wood that you can get at your local hardware store. I keep these in my home and they cost about three or four dollars depending on the size and the width. A glue gun and some spray paint that I found. I have black here but you can get any color that you choose. Now you don't have to have a nice decorated box like this. You can use a shoe box. It works just as well and you don't have to use wood. You can use the craft foam boards. So let's take a look at our box. In this case since my box is already decorated all I have to do is measure the length and the width. If you're using a shoe box I would suggest you color the shoe box with paint or cover it with some sort of craft paper. Set the box aside or wait till it dry if you painted it and we're going to take those measurements and cut our boards. I've cut several pieces and sizes of the wood to create sections to hold a variety of items. I would suggest drawing a diagram on paper to give you a visual idea of what sections you like and need in your charging station. Now if you decide to paint it like I did here, paint or spray paint your boards the desired color that you wish and let dry. So here's where we are. We have our boards painted and dried. We have our box. I also added a nice medallion that I'm going to add in front of the box and I painted that also. At this stage, we will add the holes. You will need to add a hole in the back of the box so the extension cord for the power can run to the electronics. Also, you will need to add the holes to the board that will be running the width of the box. This will serve as the holes for your electronic power cord. Sorry if I don't have any footage for that, but hopefully you get what I'm saying. Now we'll be assembling our pieces. The diagram that you drew will help here. Glue each piece as needed, making sure that the edges is secure to the box. And here is what it looks like. All of our pieces are glued together. All the edges are securely glued to the box. These pieces should not be moved. They should be nice and sturdy. Now you can add all of your adornment or decor to your box. Here I added the painted medallion. Now you need to gather all of the things that you will be adding in your charging station. I will be adding a Nook Reader two cell phones, an iPad and an iPod, two buds or earbuds I should say, a charger, some cords and some chalk eraser and some eyeglasses. This little gadget is called a charging hub from QVC for about $49.95. It has USB ports about seven or eight around the circumference. It can be used in a car or as I have it here as a small charger instead of using a large power strip. Because of its size, it fits nicely in its assigned location and it charges your electronics very fast. As you can see here, 
Everything is in its place. I still have room to add. This is a great and easy project if you don't want to spend a lot of money on a manufactured charger station. I hope I'm giving you inspiration to reevaluate those clutter areas in your home. Stay tuned for another spring cleaning tip and idea coming soon. Until then, smooches!